Hello guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Ale Review. Um, today's beer is one that was recommended to me by Peter, Master of Hobbits. Uh, check out his channel, I'll stick a little link on my description. I'm sure loads of you probably know about him already. He's, uh, he's yeah, he's pretty big in the old, um, in the beer game. Um, but you know, talking of um, being big in the beer game, I'm almost up to 80 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> I know to most of you that's like, what? <laughs> I'm on a thousand, but you know, it means a lot, it's brilliant. So thanks to every single person who subscribed to me. Um, I've also uh, sent an email off to Ailes by Mail, who are officially my favorite online store because they're so quick with the deliveries. I mean, and they're instant, it's like bang. You send, you make your delivery, you get, I've said it before, you get an email straight away, almost the next day you got your delivery. And not only that, they deliver sausages. How good is that? So anyway, anyway, this beer is from, um, see that, that one is called a double tap. It's not really, I just, I just messed up. But anyway, this one's from Peter. This one's from Peter. It's a Grand Cru Roddenbach. There you go. Now then, the reason I'm trying this is because I tried the um, Duchesse de Bourgogne, which is a, a red sour, and I loved it. And he said, try this one. Um, if you enjoyed the, the share, so you'll love this one. So, um, there's not really much I can tell you on this because it's all in Belgium. Um, but I did get some uh, some info online. It's the first time I've ever done this. And I'm going to be reading it in the style of Keith's Beer Reviews. Okay. Um... Roddenbach Grand Cru is a medium bodied and challenging fruity oak tart. Dark Flemish. I'm not going to do that because I sound like a bloody idiot. I can't do accents to save my life. Okay. Uh, Roddenbach Grand Cru is a medium bodied, bodied, a medium bodied and challenging fruity oak tart, dark Flemish red. Best served in a tulip glass I haven't got at 3 to 5 degrees centigrade, with or without the sediment. Good with. Good with Chinese food, apparently. Okay. Anyway, dark, I've only ever had one um, Flemish red, and I really enjoyed it, so let's get this one on the go. Lovely. I love these little labels, they're brilliant. Little um, crowns. That's a really nice one, that. Okay. Let's get this on the go. I'm gonna be if this is as sweet as I think it's gonna be, I might actually send this one off to um another beer reviewer who's just recently started doing it. That's um Simon's Mrs. The Mrs. Real Well Guide. Because I know she likes her sweet beers. I sent her a strawberry one recently and it wasn't that impressive. So anyway. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is it's not it's not red. <laughs> the one I had before was very red. Okay. It almost looks like um, a glass of Pepsi, that one. Very dark. Oops, sorry. Okay, back again. Um, with the Grand Crew Roddenbach. Okay, let's give it a sniff. Wow, that's quite powerful. Um, I'm getting like um, a balsamic, a very strong balsamic vinegar. Uh, the sourness is really predominant as well. Almost like a, um, a really strong cider uh, smell. What percentage is this, by the way? I don't think I'll give you the percentage. Okay, it's uh, 6%, so it's not too strong. Okay. Cheers. Let's see where we go with this. Peter, you better be right. Mmm. Ooh, that's sour. It tricks you. It starts off with like, ooh, and then it goes, rape, and you're like, ah. Wow. Oh, it's got a really long linger on that. Okay, right, let's give you the initial um, tastes. Uh, 
Okay, getting a lot of sourness and getting a, an, an oaky taste as well. Like it's been oak aged or something like that. Um, I'm getting a really strong cider taste off of that as well. Like um, a really powerful cheap cider. But not an unpleasant um, flavour. It's really nice. I'm getting a lot of the balsamic in the flavour as well. I do try balsamic vinegar sometimes, you know, I'm a bit posh. I'm not really, but... But, you know, I, I like a bit of balsamic on my salad. Salad. <laughs> really sour. Proper coat, it just coats the tongue. Properly, all over. The roof of the mouth sides lingers and lingers and lingers um, I could probably only ever drink one of these it's re it is really nice it's not as sweet as the um, as the creek I had um, well, obviously this is not a creek is it this is just a sour um, but it's really nice it is really really nice oh hang on here we go there's a bit of info on here uh, a mixed fermentation beer, Roddenbach Grand Cru is matured in oak vats. I knew, I knew there was oak in it, I re it's so obvious. Um, giving it a sweet sour taste and intense bouquet with a very long aftertaste like a Grand Cru wine. Definitely. Um, Grand Cru is a blend of young beer and beer that has matured for over two years. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. You definitely get any oak in this, definitely. And it, it just all go. it really goes well together, it really does. Um, makes me feel quite civilised when I'm drinking this. It's definitely, definitely not one you need, you can rush. Um, this is a real sipper, I mean you sit there and take your time with it. And um, sort of you know, mm, what else is that? I'm almost getting like a, um, like a cornbread uh, flavouring as well, like a savoury uh, bread. Yeah, you definitely take your time with this. And it's um, it's more, it's like a Marmite beer, I, I don't know if, you, most of you probably won't know what Marmite is, it's like um, a Vegemite, quite a strong spread. There's no Marmite flavour in this, by the way. I'm just, I'm just saying that it's like a Marmite beer. This is definitely a love or a hate beer, and I can honestly say that I love it. I really do like it, Peter. Spot on, mate. How much time have I got left? Because I'm waffling about this beer. Oh, I've still got five minutes. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Really good stuff. And it tastes a lot stronger than the, um, than the six percent. Like it says. Yeah, really good stuff. Um, like you say, <clears throat> like I said, I mean, you can't, you won't be able to chuck a couple of them down. No, no way. It's definitely one to appreciate. Eight out of ten. That's going to get eight out of ten for me. It's totally different to the um, to the Cherry Creek that I had. So I mean, in a way, this is probably going to be my first proper Flemish Red Ale. So this is going to be the um, the base that all others are going to be judged by. Lovely. Right, I'm going to go and get myself something to eat because I've got to work tomorrow. And I've done um, two and a half beer reviews, well two and a quarter. No actually no, I've done three now haven't I? There you go, I definitely need something to eat. <laughs> Cheers guys, see you again soon on an Urban Viting Ale review. Favourite match.